Hey guys, welcome back to Magduck RC. Uh, I just want to do a quick video here for a guy. Uh, he's asking me how this works, and so I figured I'd go ahead and post a video of it up on my channel just to kind of show you how it works and tell you how it works. Uh, this is the transmission out of the out of the one sixteenth Traxxas models. Uh, this was in my E-Revo, my mini one sixteenth scale E-Revo. It had the brushless Valenion motor on it, uh, the stock one, the little tiny 380 size motor, uh, so it's the 380 sized, uh, motor plate, not the 550 size, which is what I have in my Mini Summit, uh, which I'm not sure if I have a video of that up yet, um, but I want to specifically talk about the gear swap, or the, uh, yeah, the gear swap mod that some people have done to this transmission. Uh, specifically to make it a mini summit crawler, uh, which is why I did it. Um, what it does is, is, uh, you take your gear that's here and swap it to this gear. So you'll take this gear, move it up here and this gear, and move it to the center. Uh, what it does is it goes from every two turns that this top shaft makes is every one turn down here at your bottom shaft, which is your output shaft to your drive shafts. This is the shaft that goes to your spur gear that goes to your motor. Uh, so for every two turns, you get one turn. When you do the gear swap, you get every four turns to one turn. So it takes more turns to turn this, so you get you get a lower speed. You pretty much cut your speed by half, but you're doubling your torque. Um, and it's it, there is a video I've seen I've seen the video because it's how I learned how to do it. Uh, there's a video on how to swap the gear, so I'm not going to go into it. Um, and I don't really have a way to do it one-handed at the moment, uh, but it's pretty much, there's, there's two screws there at the bottom. Let me try to get where I can focus. I'm using my phone. Come on, there we go. There's one screw, two screw. You pull this, uh, spur gear off. There's a screw up under there, right there, and there. There's a screw down there, and I think, yep, and there's one right here just behind it, so you have to take the spur gear off to do it. Um, and then when you do that, you'll go ahead and pop the spur gear off, your little slipper clutch on there off, your little uh, pin that holds the slipper clutch, all that off. Uh, you'll pull your motor plate off, and then the case should just pop apart. Um, and when you do that, let me let me try to see if I can do that real quick. I'm not going to show it on video how to take it apart. Whoop. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll just show you what it looks like when you pull the transmission apart. Give me just a second. All right. So this is what we're looking at. Uh, I've got the spur gear removed. Uh, you've got your nut, spring, spur gear, slipper clutch, which I believe the clutch is on the back. Uh, yep, there it is. Stuck right in there. And you get your slipper clutch. On the back of the slipper clutch, your uh, your shaft right here goes through the center. And on the other side of that, I'm not going to be able to flip it over with my pinky, there's this little pin. It goes through, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, probably not very well. Uh, my big thumb in the way. Uh, oh, just barely. Right there, you can kind of see the hole. Uh, that's where that pin goes through. Um, anyway, so when you take out the six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, just the top four allow you to pop off the motor plate. Set that there. Uh, and then you have just the transmission with nothing on it. Uh, and I warn you, the inside of this has not been done in over a year. So we're going to see if we can pop this off without having anything slide out, which is probably going to be very close to impossible, uh, at least on camera, not being able to put my phone on anything to hold it. Err. Come on. Need this. Give me just. All right. So I got it to where I can pull it off. So this is where the motor plate sat. Pull that off. Set that coming to the side there. And then here are the gears. A close up. No, I'm kidding. Uh, these are the gears inside of the transmission. Uh, you can see it is pretty filthy. So I'm trying to get a better grip on my phone here. Uh, it is pretty, pretty nasty. Um, 
Like I said, I haven't done it in quite a while. But the way it works, let's see if I can kind of set my phone down maybe. Let me try to move my wraith out of the way. I should probably start preparing better for videos instead of doing them last minute. I oh, will set that back there. I will set, can I set the transmission there? All right, so this here is the input shaft. It's gonna be very hard with the very shitty lighting. Uh, and the way it is, the way it works is you've got that gear there that goes to a gear uh, right beside it that's on a hex shaft that comes up to this gear right here. Let me get the pointer right here. This gear makes contact with this. That is your out drive, uh, where your drive shaft, where your center drive shafts go. Uh, this will go to the back and the other side goes to the front. Uh, now the way you do the gear swap is we'll pull out, if I can, one-handed once again, a little tight, there you go. This is the gear. Uh, make sure this piece is always to the back of the truck. Uh, that's how it's supposed to go in the transmission. Any other way, it will not work. We'll go ahead and take out the center piece. Well, I messed that up. Let's try that again. All right, so you've got this centerpiece here. Pull that out. See, it's got a it's it's hexed. Set that up there, and then we'll pull out, which is the back of that shaft. And you see, it is hexed also. Now those two are hexed, and that's for very good reason. This is the gear that goes on your input shaft. All it does, <coughs> excuse me, is it just slides through. Let's see if I can, yeah. It just slides through and sits like that. That's how this goes in the transmission. And you've got your other gear, which mine is stuck in there at the moment. I'm Grease, get my pliers here just to gently grab it after I clean them off. Close enough. Just grab it out of there. Nope. Make sure your desk is clean when you're doing this. Mine is filthy. So then this is in the middle of the transmission. Uh, it is the middle gear, middle, not metal. Um, it's not wanting to focus. Getting some fresh light here. Come on, there we go. So that is the middle gear. And it... We'll go on this shaft right here. Just like that. Now, to do the gear swap, all you do, auto focus here, is we'll pop this one back off. Set that to the side. Grab this one. Pop it off. And then we'll take this shaft here. Sorry, I'm looking through the screen not at the actual parts I'll just take this piece if I can get it to there we go and it just slides right on and then you'll take this piece get that piece of grass off of there and then we'll take the gear that was on the input shaft from the spur gear I'm trying to <laughs> feel like a retard trying to do this there we go and it just slides right on there very simple, very easy. Uh, no mistakes. <laughs> so now we will take our transmission housing that faces towards the front of the truck. We will first go ahead and slide this one in, which would be the middle shaft. Get that piece of hair out of there. And we'll take our input shaft from our spur gear. I can thread the needle with that. Now that's in there. 
And make sure they both turn before you go any further. See, they're both turning. And if you notice that the housing is cut out just enough to fit that gear in there, I think Traxxas knew that you could do this. Or they made it so you could do this, I should say. And then you'll take your center differential that is locked, which is the stock differential. Um, if you're building a mini summit crawler, do not get the uh, limited slip differential for the e Revo. It will completely destroy you as it will just hinder everything that you have built the summit to do. So now let's see. Get a little autofocus here. So now we have gone from a from the original two turns to one turn. Just two turns here makes this turn one time. That's a complete 360. To every four turns here is one turn here. So for every one turn, it's a quarter turn. Now, what it was was every one turn was a half turn. That's what it is now. So there you go. Uh, sorry if that... I know this video is not the best quality. Uh, some of my lighting is kind of funny. Uh, I'm still kind of work, trying to work that out. It, it works when I'm working on the vehicles, not so much for videos. There you go, guys. Uh, I hope that kind of helps out. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Let me know. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by Mad Duck RC. We'll see you later, guys.